Good evening. South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg was sentenced today in a case that's been open for almost a year. Uh, after hitting and killing Joe Beaver on Highway 14 near Highmore last September, Roundsburg was charged with three misdemeanors for his driving that night. Today, a no contest plea deal was entered on his behalf. We thought the facts more strongly supported the charge of the using the electronic device and uh, outside the lane. So the careless driving was seemed to be the one that we felt we had the least amount of facts to support. So that seemed to be the common one to drive. Had there been the tiniest hint of recklessness, had there been the tiniest hit, hint of uh, intoxication or any sort, this case would have been charged out as a felony. And the fact of the matter is it wasn't. You can find the full recap of today's hearings on Kettleland.com. Meanwhile, Roundsburg's future as attorney general may be decided by members of the South Dakota legislature. The South Dakota House passed a bipartisan resolution during this year's session to evaluate whether articles of impeachment should be drawn up against Roundsburg once his case is settled. Kelloland's Perry Groton finds out if the political will remains to proceed with impeachment. The reading of a resolution for impeachment on the House floor earlier this year marked a historic moment at the South Dakota Capitol, the first time such a resolution was ever read before state lawmakers. Impeaching Jason Brownsburg, Attorney General of the State of South Dakota, for certain crimes or misdemeanors in office. Lawmakers would later change House Resolution 7001 to delay impeachment considerations against Attorney General Jason Roundsburg until his case was settled in court. Now that Roundsburg has entered his no contest plea, one of the original co-sponsors of the resolution wants to revisit the impeachment issue. I think definitely we will um, look at that as an option still. Um, right now we can't do anything um, because we are not in session. But even though lawmakers are not in session, they can meet informally to discuss possible impeachment options. You have to just have conversations with people and and. and you know, um, we're constantly having meetings as well on different topics across the state. So those relationships are still tight and, and um, that's a conversation that will be had. But to bring up impeachment this year would require a special session. And the legislature already has a crowded schedule with an upcoming special session on redistricting in November. Smith says another option could be to wait until next year's session, which starts in January. Not a long time away, Smith says, for such an important decision by lawmakers. Perry Grove, Kelly News. Governor Kristi Noem could call a special session for impeachment. In a statement released today, Noem said if Roundsburg does not resign, as I believe he should, the legislature can and should consider the article's impeachment already brought in the House. Now, the legislature can also call for a special session. But that would require a two-thirds vote by each chamber, a requirement that Smith says would be a heavy political lift.